up in the drip when I splash, yeah. Ain't got time to chat, yeah. I'm running to the back. Hold up, can chat. Run it up, run it up. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, back at it again with another reaction video. Today, we're going to jump into Landmarks. Self-made black hole featuring Resolve. Never heard of Resolve. I don't know if it's another band, if it's a single dude, whatever. We're going to find out. I'm excited to get into this one. A lot of people have been like, yo, you got to check out Landmarks new song, Black Hole, Self-Made, whatever. It's awesome. Uh, so I'm excited to jump into it because it's been hyped up. My roommate especially has been hyping it up. He's been on the Landmarks wave for like a few weeks now. And, you know, he's like, dude, if you don't react to these landmark songs i'm kicking you out you know it's like dude relax i'll get to it you know what i'm saying um so i'm excited to jump into it the i've done one landmark song maybe two i think i've done two so far i really like their sound they're they have a, just a culmination of blended all types of stuff in one i really really vibe with it that's neither here nor there let's jump right into it don't want you to wait any longer so before we do make sure you hit that subscribe button with those notification bells so you don't miss a single video then up here i have all my social media that i'm most active on yes i make music spotify pandora google play wherever you listen to music i'm there search your boy up links for all that in the description down below as well as i will put a car a card right here for my latest song that i put out you should go check that out it's a bop now Got through that fast. Let's jump into it. Don't want to waste your time. Hope you're having a great day. Come by with your boy. Whew. Out of breath a little bit there. That was a little, a little fast. Got a Tron vibe. That background guitar. Oh, that must be resolved. Okay. We vibing. Like 
It's like a piano in the back. Dude, what an experience. Wow, I just went on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> um, dude, the first, the first probably like minute and a half, I gotta say, I wasn't really vibing. It was a little heavy out of the gate, uh, a little too heavy, like out of nowhere. Uh, maybe I just wasn't in the right mindset for it. I don't know, <clears throat> just wasn't really vibing. But when that chorus came in and it lightened up, it kind of brought me back into it. I was like, okay. All right, I got a little break. The heaviness it has been counteracted a little bit, right? And then from there, I was a little bit more into it. And then funny enough, even though the breakdown was disgusting and heavy, there was, I know this is going to sound weird, but there was a lightness to it. And it's because it was so open. It, it A certain part in the breakdown, all you could hear is just a symbol, just psh. And it was just open. And it's funny. I think they might have did that on purpose because that kind of felt like a black hole. I felt like I was sucked into something and it was very empty. And that's what they did. It was just very empty. There was, It was just a symbol, but there might have been like a, a, a synth pad or something in the very, very back, very, you know, brought down in volume, maybe kind of squished with some verb or something a little bit. It was maybe a bass layer, just real, real calm and setting a small small foundation but it's pretty much just that symbol psh, 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 just just a little bit of air before you know they bring back in more drums and guitar and stuff um and his gutturals that was heavy um that's only the third landmark song i've done i know in lost in a wave there was some heavy parts but this was like turned up man this was almost as heavy as like some slaughter or some lorna like it was close obviously those bands just get another level of heavy, but this was close, especially on that breakdown. So the singing and that melody of the chorus kind of brought me back and overall it balanced out the song. So to go back into what I was saying earlier, it started off a little, a little shaky waters for me. I wasn't really vibing, but by the end of it, it had grown on me and the, the melody and the melodic aspect of the chorus and the singing and the vocalist going back and forth really brought me back in and balanced it for me. And I ended up enjoying it. So uh, the Resolve, great, great feature on here. He added a nice, the contrast wasn't so heavy on his side because his, his voice sounds similar um, to the lead vocalist here. It's a little bit, uh, it's got a little bit more body. It's a little bit lower in, in tone, um, but it had a nice contrast. It wasn't vast, but it, it was nice of a feature on here. And they, they played off of each other on the last, I think it was the last course of the song where they went back and forth. That was cool. And on one part, I think I said this in the last time, but the lead vocalist of Landmarks has a Chester Bennington kind of scream rasp at certain parts, and I love that, dude. It just really takes me back. Every time I hear that in his voice when he hits those notes, it takes me back. It gives me nostalgia to my childhood in Lincoln Park, um, R.I.P. Chester, and um, it just it gets me a little emotional every time I hear that, and I really love that. So even if the the song was just heavy as hell the whole way through and that was the only thing i liked about it i would still go back into and listen to it just because it's that strong of an effect on on my nostalgia receptors in my brain you know it just i love it so much so i got to say i really like how this band is able to kind of balance the melody and the heaviness in one song and do it so well to where it doesn't throw you off and it's not out of place like they just really have that sound kind of down and I, they do have a good mesh of a lot of influences uh, for different genres, rock, um, metal, uh, kind of almost not really pop uh, or punk rock, but just some lighter like alternative rock uh, and they just blend it all and may maybe a little bit of relaxing and singing like it, I like it. I like that. It's very balanced. So uh, man, this is good. This is good. It, it did throw me for a loop at first, but I ended up liking it. Um, that breakdown was pretty heavy. 
that, and I really liked the style of it. It just, it, it was breathing. It had life to it, um, but it was so open and empty. So I like this one. I can see why everybody was like, oh, you got to react to this one. I like it a lot. I So far, Landmarks hasn't missed. I think my favorite still is Lost in a Wave just because of the, the balance to it. I don't know. Visage was really good too. I don't know. They're all close. This one even is up there. Like I said, that that heavy part grew on me. I'm gonna. It's gonna grow on me more because um, I am gonna listen to this song more. I really do like it, but the the heaviness threw me off at first. And uh, I think you know, with time, it'll it'll be up there with Visage and Lost in a Way. But those are my favorites right now. So I'm excited to jump into more Landmarks, man. They, they're a fantastic band so far. So. That'll do it for today's reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm, all that stuff. If you're new here, don't wait any longer. Hit that subscribe button, ASAP. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support as always. Thank you very much for showing up and showing love. You know what to do? Leave some comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about this song. What do you think about Landmarks? Did you like this song? Did you not like this song? And let me know why, why you did or why you didn't. Uh, I always enjoy hearing people's opinions on why they like or don't like something. It's cool to kind of pick the brains. So if you did like it and you do like Landmarks um, and you haven't heard their other music, go check it out. So far, they've been a great band for me. I, I know this is only my third song, but they do have a good sound. Go check them out. And if you like them, subscribe to their YouTube, follow them on social media, stream their music on all platforms that you listen to music and support them because that's the one thing artists, bands, rappers, you know, painters, any anybody, content creator, anybody that is making art of any kind, go support them. It's the best thing you can do. So with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm sending positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out. Let's get this bag. I tower over these rappers just like the Eiffel. I'm probably in the scope of inner scope, not talking rifles. My competition's depressing, I really got no rivals. They only start dissing me when they feeling suicidal. Someone check the vitals. I'm going places with my brothers like Wayne's. This my martial matters flow. It be going through changes. I've been growing and changing.